Good morning, it's Saturday morning. It's not even early, but I just cannot wake up. I've been up an hour. Oh gosh, is that a time? I need to do my hair. Yeah, that's the next thing on the list. I'm kind of packing. It's 8.35, I told you it wasn't even early, but I was editing and sorting the video out till late. And I've got to leave this lovely lens behind as well because it's too big to pack. That was it, I just swapped it for this other one, which is a bit smaller, ooh, lens cap, don't forget that. Right, yeah, I'm gonna pack all this stuff now. I'm awake now, you'll be pleased to know. That is the longest I've ever remained in a dreamlike sleepy state after waking up. It was an hour and 10 minutes, and then I cleaned my teeth, and I wiped my mouth off, and I just suddenly woke up. It was like a light being switched on. That was the most bizarre experience I've had in a long time. Anyway, we're well on our way. This is our view right now. You might hear a bit of munching and crunching coming from that direction there. He's doing it on purpose now. Breakfast has been broken out. He's on the Worcester sauce crisps and a Marmite cheddar. How was it? It for you, dear. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Do you know what? I, you know, I'm doing that puzzle. <laughs> IB hates puzzles, apparently. Thinks they're a right old waste of time, don't you? But anyway, he came in last night. You had his dinner, didn't you? And he said, I'm going to have a nap and then I need to do an hour's work. What happened? Tried to walk past the puzzle to get to the kitchen and he just couldn't go past the puzzle. Next thing, he's sitting down doing the puzzle and he just continued. And I was laughing at him and I said, look, I really got to go and sort my vlog out. I'll be at least an hour. So I went up to do that and I came back down and he hadn't moved. He was still doing the puzzle and he was looking very sheepish as well. He's just saying, I can't stop. I just can't stop. So I said, well, I've got some trouble with my upload. It won't process. I've got to do the whole thing again. So I went back up for another hour and I came back down and guess who was still doing the puzzle? IB, yeah. And I got up this morning all bleary eyed and delirious. <laughs> and who's got up earlier? <laughs> and gone straight back to the puzzle and had been doing it for an hour. Well, I didn't set the alarm, you know. You didn't? No, I just didn't. Just set puzzle the alarm time. Beep, 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 more puzzle just time for him, I waited. And uh, as I was walking to the kitchen to put the kettle on, I got drawn to the <laughs> This is why I have to cover it with a tea towel. That one's too big for a tea towel, that needs a bath sheet, that one. Anyway, I've talked for too long. It's just coming up to 10 o'clock and I'm breaking out the sushi. I've got a prawn sushi, everyone else is eating their sushi. Breakfast it is. We are coming through Slandrin Dodwells. Known affectionately as Slandod. Is it? By who? Everybody lives. The Slandodians. Been seeing some very very big houses and those are not as big as the ones we were passing just now and I didn't get the camera out in time. Big tall things remind me of the ones in the Isle of Man actually because yeah, they're yeah. many stories aren't they? Well, I think it would have been for similar purposes they would have been large hotels for wealthy people to come and take the waters. Ah oh, spa towns yes. Actually coming to the end of the ground. Oh there's some there's some big ones. We've had three little tiny old-fashioned cars going past would you say 1920s? Mm -hmm. like so we're wondering if there's going to be loads of them in a minute because <laughs> they were quite spaced out. If you haven't watched any videos of mine for a while and you don't know why we're doing a road trip today it's because we're dropping my daughter back at uni basically she's in the back there being quiet with her headphones on. Can't see it very well but there's loads of lambs in that field I've been seeing a lot of lambs. We're gonna stop shortly we've been going two hours and 20 minutes I think it's 11.21 anyway, and just as we want to stop, it's starting to rain, of course, because that's how it always works for us, basically. But we need a wee, and um, just a rest, really. I mean, I've been eating anyway, but I don't know what we're going to do. We'll find out in a minute, won't we? We're trying to go to a Tesco's for a wee. <laughs> I don't know where it is. We went past it, and then we doubled back, now we can't find it. But it's around here somewhere. We are now. We are now. Here we are. My bee's trying to think of a nice present to give to the people that are putting us up tonight. I said, well, what about toilet roll? He said, funnily enough, I brought them some toilet roll last time. Oh, that's a vlog. Yeah, I can. Why not? But it wasn't a very just, practical gift. It wasn't just toilet roll. It was just part of a series of gifts. Oh, well, you can have a look around Tesco now, see, so get some inspiration. I've gone all stiff. I'm sitting still so long in the car. At an awkward angle. Right, let's come find these loos. Customer toilets, that's what we want. We've been here before. Cool, that's better. Oh, you're here. I was going to go and look at organic chocolate or something. Yeah, sometimes flowers. I don't know about flowers. I don't know what they like. Well, some people love them, some people think they're complete waste. So I go and look at chocolate and 
come back with some. I should have probably picked up a basket. I'm gonna get a basket and then go present hunting. Look what's 125. I got Reese's eggs. Doesn't mean we have to eat them all at once. So I'm just gonna slip. But do you think that would make a nice present? I don't know if they're gonna like cream eggs though. No, I won't get cream eggs for the present, but I'll get them for us. Right, let's get them some posh snacky foods. One pound fifty for these, just plain sea salt and black peppercorn, that'd be nice. I wonder if they'd like some chili ones as well. One fifty for those. Now, posh chocolate. On for these. Oh, my phone's ringing. Okay, I've had an idea for one last thing. Just gonna be a great big thing of strawberries. Here we are. Oh, 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 a bit close. We've been to Tesco's, and as we were wandering around, we were all independently of each other thinking, Do you know, I've eaten all that sushi quite a while ago now. I'm actually hungry for lunch. And we came out and we hadn't bought anything for lunch. I've got snacks. Bearing in mind this is a two day road trip, but no proper lunch. Like, we've got crisps and cheese and things like that left. We're going to McDonald's anyway, basically, because it's just there. <laughs> Stopped for fuel. I'm tempted to put some rubbish in the bins, actually. I think I will. There is McDonald's, and we are going to sit in. I've made a definitive decision. We're gonna get out of this pesky car and have a nice relax. We are ensconced in McDonald's. Izzy and my other half are sorting the order out, and I've clobbered a table. Because it's pretty busy in here, uh, so I don't really want to be panning the camera around too much. Lots of people waiting to order and waiting for their orders. Do these air charges actually work? Do you have to take your phone out of the case? Oh, it's doing something. It says it's charging. I'm, oh my gosh. I didn't think that my phone was like modern enough for that. I'm very impressed. Well, I would say the food is here, but they've forgotten my burger. But anyway, I've got a coffee and I'm sharing some holy with Oh, thank you, Izzy. Thank you. She went and got it for me. She came to the rescue. Like it when my daughter looks after me. It's very nice. That's a McPlant. They just taste very meaty to me as a non meat eater. Um, but yeah, very pleasant. We're on our way again. That was a most welcome break. I secretly enjoyed that actually. I always do. I do like being at McDonald's. There's always a nice atmosphere at a McDonald's, I find. Everyone just seems to be in a very pleasant, mild, happy state on the occasions I've been. I don't go that often, but when I do, that's been my experience. Oh, well, there's more sheep. I don't see lambs in that field though, but we have seen a lot of lambs. Uh, we're two hours from our destination. I will not be filming close to the uh, one hour 46. I will not be filming close to it, um, but the plan is to drop her and her stuff off, and then we're gonna take her shopping, possibly one of her friends as well. She's trying to find out if she wants to or not. She's gonna be there in time because she's coming home as well to uni. And then we're gonna head off to our friend's place, which is another couple of hours drive again from there. Well, wherever we were, we've gone. Wherever we were, we've gone. <laughs> I was saying, do I be off camera? Where are we now? That was his reply. <laughs> He's telling me off from what I just did. Level. <laughs> we're coming through somewhere called Pant, P-A-N-T. So of course I went, <laughs> That's it, it told me to, it told me to. And he's not impressed, he just was grown and he said, Imogen, this journey is bad enough <laughs> without you doing that as well. <laughs> anyway, it's a real, a real place called Pant, but it means dip, doesn't it, in Welsh? It's, it's Welsh for something, it's not an instruction to pant as you come through it. Or anything to do with underpants or trousers, if you're American. We're out of the car again. My daughter, suddenly, needed the low, she drank a whole thing of pop, a big one at McDonald's, and now she needs a wee. So we're in Dobby's Garden Centre, and Ivy said, oh look, it's like a timber sustainable show home display. I said, let's go look at it quick, before she comes back from the low. So we are. Oh, the wind's whipping up a bit. Oh, there's a big gust. Closed, is it? Oh, you can have a look round it though. You can have a little peep, can't you? Oh, this one looks like a water. <laughs> Very rickety fancy thingy. Oh, it's quite bare. Ooh, watch your neck on that. Oh, my neck. Right. Looks like an old, I don't know, container for something. Oh, it's just got loads of planks in it. It's not very exciting. Izzy's probably coming back from the loo by now. Oh, there's some more out here. Look, I just wanted to stretch my legs. I was getting a bit, you know, static. People and chairs and things in there. Oh! Oh, that was very muddy. Just clean these shoes as well. 
Right, I'm going to go back. Oh, look at those bobbling around in the breeze. Ooh, don't know if I've ever seen those sorts of flowers before. I don't recognise them. Quite big, look. We've got a lot of daisies here on this patch of lawn as well. Looks a bit summery. Back on the way again. On our left, we have the Shropshire Union Canal. And here we have, oh, you can't see it now, the Chirk Viaduct. A Chirk Viaduct? I don't know, I'm just copying what he says, to be honest. Well, we're near Chirk, I don't know. Oh, right. Well, it looks like two viaducts to me. Viaduct. Well, one would be an aqueduct. Well, that's for water. Yeah, one for Oh, oh, right, one for water, one for people and horses and rail or whatever. Ah, so that is Vi. He was right, Chirk Aqueduct. Oh, there's a big factory of some sort over there. Cement making? What's that? Yeah, I don't know. Well, it's big, is it? That's Massive. That's fun looking as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that oh, looks familiar. I wonder if I've done a gig in there. No, I haven't. I'm thinking of something else. Chirk Town Council. 4.20 and we are at Izzy's Uni. I'm not filming out the window, but we just dropped her off. Helped her to get some shopping in and she didn't have any milk or tea bags and we didn't want to buy milk or tea bags just for one cup of tea. So we went to the subway on campus, got ourselves a cup of tea to go. We're going to have that cream egg and we're going to proceed on to our friend's house. We've been on the road for quite a while now. It's 5.45 and we're just coming to Colwyn Bay actually. So we'll be there in about half an hour. It's raining, of course. It's been very, 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 very windy. When we were dropping my daughter off, we were walking back to the car, all three of us, she came and saw us back to the car, and I was literally having to grab onto my teacup, like, hard, because I thought it was going to get blown off, honestly. We're going to go in a tunnel. We're going to go in a tunnel. Anyway, I just had a quick um, look at the news app, and we've got Storm Kathleen, apparently, so I presume that was Storm Kathleen doing that. We've just been reading about uh, power cuts. Oh, I've gone yellow. Power cuts in Ireland, wasn't it? A lot of flood warnings across the UK and different parts. We've been going in and out of a lot of tunnels. There's no rain in here. <laughs> We're not far away from Bangor. So you know what we've been singing. Okay. <laughs> to Bangor. Do we come up with just passed the welcome to Bangor sign. I missed it with the camera. It said it's the city of learning and it does indeed have Bangor University in it, doesn't it? Yeah. It's about half past 12 at night now. We're in the room where we're gonna sleep tonight. We've had a lovely dinner with our friends and made lovely broccoli and Stilton soup. We had chats. We went to the shop to help buy the ingredients for the soup and uh, played tunes just quietly in the front room. And we're gonna go to bed now. But thank you so much for watching today's video. Do feel free to give it a like if you happen to like it. Some videos there, playlists of mine if you'd like to watch some more videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.